All right, me and my crazy scatterbrain can hurry up and get this topic over with. Uh, this floor's not gonna allow it because I know exactly what appears on this floor. Uh, we got some sort of treasure line around here, so let's go look for Snoopin' Snitchbug, stinking jerk, get lost, and get rid of him real quick, All right? This time I would actually recommend getting rid of the body because there's something in the way that we need to, to worry about instead. It would be very annoying if he was in our way. Okay, yeah. This is the first instance of bosses appearing on floors other than the final floor. Yeah, dungeons having multiple stinking bosses. It's a thing, and it will happen a lot of times. Snagrit Hull is evil, having us fight multiple burrowing Snagrits, jeez. Alright, what we need to do is wait for him to get stuck in the ground again when he's trying to get back up, and then we can fight him. So as I was saying before, I was thinking Pikmin on 3DS. Um, playing Kirby Mass Attack, which is a game on the DS, it gave me, uh, gave me like an idea as to what a DS Pikmin game would be like. And it's not completely terrible. I had a lot of fun with Kirby Mass Attack. I think it's a good game. So if you haven't played it before, I definitely recommend it. Uh, can you get stuck on the ground? Maybe. I don't want to get too close to my entire squad. Uh, yeah, 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 because that will happen! Lucy, get away! Okay. Uh, just go back in the ground. Please, thank you. Alright, come on. So yeah, I don't think Pikmin on 3DS is the worst thing in the world. So yeah, just try and give it a chance before you start complaining about it. Let it get stinking released before you start complaining about it. How about stinking that idea? Oh boy. And hey, he exploded with a giant wiener. <laughs> like, oh, he exploded like a floppy wiener. Hooray. Eat a floppy wiener. I, you can tell I'm like a lot of fun just saying the word wiener. Uh, what the fuck are they doing? They're like doing a dance. I mean, they're like wiener, 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 wiener. Uh, meet Satchel. Okay then. And we get him up in that hizzy. I go explodes with the same wiener. Alright, whatever. I just like saying the word wiener, it's funny. There's no more treasures on this floor. Hello! Oh, Jesus. Alright, there are no more treasures on this floor, but there's still some burrowing snaggerets. Jeez. Eggs. Snaggerets. Do they lay eggs or eat them? Hmm. I don't know. Let's go ahead and attack this thing. Yeah, let's have all our Pikmin up here all at once. That's very safe. Alright, there's no more stinking things, but I just want to see if they're... Oh, he's guarding. He's stinking camping on that thing. What the heck is that? It's a Lenny. Uh, is there any treasure? Not treasure. Is there any potions on this floor? I just want to see that before we go. No, it's super dangerous with that stinking Snaggrit right there. Uh, you know what? No, I'm not going to be a wuss. I'm going to be a stinking boss and take out all the snaggards even though I don't stinking need to because they're jerks and they're evil and I hate them but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that because oh I can pop bud I was looking around uh part of me doesn't even want to take the candy pop bud because we kind of have enough lenny's for like the rest of the game you never really want that many of them like compared to Chuck especially um, so this might be- oh, oh, Violet, good thing I didn't leave this place, that would've been horrible. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the purple one, but not the white one. This might be the first time I do that. Alright, let's go ahead and take Lucy, because we have more of her than Bob. Do we? Is that correct? 29, 25, alright. Wish we could have 25 Lucys at this point, but someone had to get eaten by a stinking snitch bug. Alright, I don't think we want that, but... Eh, what the heck. Uh, I never know what's gonna happen. Uh, hopefully I don't regret getting rid of five bobs. Alright, then I always get nervous with singing Bob, with getting rid of bobs, because, um, you never know, like, when you might find out, like, a heavy treasure inside of a dungeon or something like that that's covered in water. Uh, so that's something that I'm kind of worried about. So we'll try not to sacrifice too many more bobs. Alright, go get the chucks. And we're good to go. Alright, we got 99 of everyone. Now that last wall is thinking taunting me, I said I was going to go ahead and take care of them, so let's do this. Alright, we're going to go fight a snagger that we don't even need to fight, because I like being epic like that. Cool guys, don't ignore snaggerts! Okay, so we have 30 chucks, that should be more than enough to take him out. Now, a better idea than swarming his head when stuck on the ground is throwing chucks right on top of it. That makes it a lot easier, as you will plainly see, as I'm about to demonstrate! All right, there you go. See, snaggerts aren't that scary. All right, for our efforts and bravery, we get ourselves another egg, which will probably just have a potion in it. Uh, 69, but we also got 69 out of the deal. So yay, that's a victory in and of itself. All right then, uh, let's see what this is. It is a potion, yeah, but whatever, or not potion, uh, nectar. 
Get me some of that nectar, yeah. But yeah, the Pikmin were greedy and we can get to flower all of them, so it's a good thing that we went and fought that guy. It's just one Chuck, great. Hurry up, Chuck! Get your stinking butt over to the nectar. Hurry! Hope you enjoy all that nectar all by yourself. And this guy carries back the stinking head, the snaggered head, and we are good to go. Alright then, take care of this wall, and then we'll be on our merry way. This took a lot longer than it needed to be, but whatever. We got to have a fun adventure in the process, so that's good for me, I guess. Who? Who? Woo! Woo! probably premature but whatever just telling myself that so I don't mess up in editing which I probably will anyway okay this floor this layout of a floor where we can ah Jesus no oh geez get down Chuck wait we lost someone someone did get thrown off the edge jeez oh man who was it if it was anyone other than Chuck but oh man I got rid of a sticking Oh, balls! Heavy duty magnetizer. Okay, I didn't even get like five seconds to stick and process my thoughts. Alright, just get rid of that guy. I think that's the first time we saw him in the game. 98. Alright, who did we lose? We lost a Bob. God darn it. So, Alright, so that guy chucked a Bob off the ledge. He didn't chuck a Chuck off the ledge. Alright then, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it. It's not looking good, but whatever. So, that guy, that jerkwad, one of the worst enemies in the game, it is an armored cannon beetle larva. It is the larva of that big epic boss from the first Pikmin game. It had like one of Almar's ship parts inside of him and he was like a special enemy, it was a boss. So you'd think the larva of that enemy would be easy to fight, right? Well, apparently not, because in the world of Pikmin, uh, unless you're a Wallywog, then you are an absolute monster of demonic evil. When you're a baby, but when you grow up, you turn out to be not so bad. Uh, so let me explain. The armor cannon beetle larva has the ability to chuck Pikmin off its back if you are having them attack him and taking a long period of time. And they also have the ability to, to spit rocks out of its mouth and like have them roll at you Indiana Jones style. And of course, the rocks are instant kills, so there's that. I, they are easily considered to be much tougher than the actual grown-up armor cannon beetle because if you know how to fight that thing then it's easy and there's only one of them the entire game but this thing that's like a regular enemy where you'll find tons of them all the time it's not fun oh part of me really wants to throw lenny over there and have him grab that cherry because i think it only takes one pikmin i know i can't throw him that far and i know that he won't survive the, the journey so, we'll do it the long way, I guess. Crystallized telepathy. Okay, then. Alright, let's go over here. We got this cool little thing right here. It's a new little plant thing, I guess. I don't know how plants grow into all this metal, but whatever. Uh, we're gonna need to get rid of that with Lucy. Lucy Goosey. Oh, that Wari Blowhog's gonna be a jerk, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Oh, God, oh, God, I gotta get Okay, this is weird. Like,. He squirted water on them and that caused him to have a water bubble surround his entire head and now he's gonna suffocate to death, even though he doesn't have a mouth. You'd think the Pikmin without a mouth, Jesus! A mouth, Jesus. Where are you? No! Okay, let's try this again. Now, admittedly, that wasn't the worst possible scenario, so I could have gone on with it, but I don't know. We had that one Pikmin get chucked off the ledge, and then we had, like, two more losses. Actually, it was just, we only lost two Pikmin in that, so honestly, that was not a really well-deserved reset, so I apologize, but it already happened, so yeah. And I already hilariously killed all my Pikmin afterwards, so there was no going back afterwards. Let's see, do we have a thing right here? No, we do not. Oh, hey, egg. You will give me an egg. Yeah, that's a jerkish thing. Sometimes it'll, the nectar will appear up there and the Pikmin can't reach it. Of course. If it ever happens to a potion, that's even the worst.
worst. Stinking the worst. Right, Sounds like a cowboy name. It's like Billy the Kid, but stinking the worst. If I was ever a cowboy, that would be my cowboy name. Like that's just like me in a nutshell right there. Stinking the worst. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and get rid of this guy. You're the one who caused all this mayhem. Get you guys away from the electric generators. You're gonna go ahead and walk into it probably. Um, uh, Lucy, throw you over here. And what do we got? What do we got? We have stinking them watching them destroy a thing. All right, whatever. Let's go over here now. We only have okay, yeah, because I remember we lost the thing. All right, let's go, go, go. Uh, unfortunately, Bob cannot like give Lucy mouth to mouth or anything like that to get the water bubbles off of their faces or something like that. That would be really weird. Oh yeah, uh, blowhogs could also hello. Uh, blowhogs could also chuck Pikmin off their back, which we've probably seen before, but I just forget. Oh jeez, he ran over Pikmin with a mambo combo. How many did we think and lose? How many did we lose? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh jeez. We lost two. All right, deal with it. Or we lost one. All right, fine. We'll deal with that. Oh Jesus, this is too terrifying. Oh no. Oh what? Oh, he killed the beetle that was eating my stinking Pikmin. No! Okay, at least that reset was sort of deserved that time. You know what, dude? I've had just about enough of your nonsense! Jeez. Guess the stinking worst. I hate them so much. They're probably my least favorite enemy in the entire game, honestly. Alright then. Let's get rid of Not you with Lenny. Alright, whatever. That works. Alright. Let's see what we can find. More traps. Hello, trap. No trap? Okay, fine. Make a liar out of me when I'm trying to call them. Got no one to hold them and no one to fold them. Uh, let's see. If these guys weren't vicious, I, could, I would love to have like a single blowhog as a pet or something like that. It would be something adorable to have like a little cage or something like that. Okay. And we flop him over and he's dead. But then he, I'd be depressed about him being dead. Okay then. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a cool question. Like, what would you have? Oh, Jesus! Uh, go, 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 Jeez. All right, then. We got three treasures all lined up next to each other. What was I even saying? If you could have a Pikmin enemy as a pet, uh, not kind of Pikmin themselves, what would you have? Uh, I would like to have a Blowhog, probably, because they're just funny to look at and stuff. But, yeah, probably a watery one, because I don't want them burning down my stinking house. All right. I know for a fact that... Like, considering all the other terrible stuff that's been happening on this floor, as soon as we pick up that treasure, something's gonna fall from the sky. Uh, no, actually. What? And now it's gonna fall from the sky. No, okay, fine. Keep making a liar out of me. Grab all these guys, because I hate every single one of them. They've all been jerks to me. And, yeah, just grabbing everything. It's fun to just throw your Pikmin all around and be like, yeah Uh, get that one last blow hug. Yeah! All right, now. And we only have three Pikmin left. Three Chucks. Chuck Suey. Alright, whatever. Chuck, Chuck, and Chucky. Meow. Meow, meow. Alright, not really. Someone sent me actually a picture of a group of pictures of uh, Ed and Eddie characters dressed as One Piece characters. Uh, I'll just show my favorite. I like how Lucy's dancing there. Um, what do we got? Cupid's Grenade. I feel like that's a name of something in another game. Uh, that sounds familiar. I don't know, but that's a funny thing to call it, I guess. Um, what was I even saying? Someone sent me pictures of Ed and Eddie characters dressed as One Piece characters. I'll just flash up my favorite one. Three Shoe Style Rolf! <laughs> that one was the stinking best. Heavy Duty Magnetizer. <laughs> I just love that picture so much. It was so good. And then, finally, the marble thing. So we got three treasures on the floor. Hooray! But it was, like, stinking hectic, and I like how they're still dancing down there. Uh, we got ourselves the crystallized telepathy. Okay, then. And you get that up there, and a glow hog, and we are good to go. Awesome. Uh, we're still gonna search around a bit, though, just see if we can find any nectar and potions. We don't need nectar, but I would like some potions. And if we could randomly get some, that would be awesome. Alright, then, get that. And random thing, vault from the sky. Okay. Uh, you guys are over here just hanging out. Where's uh, the burp? Where's the burp? There it is. Where is the last Pikmin that I don't have with me? I don't know. Whatever. Hopefully he doesn't die somewhere. 
Okay, review. I need the thing over here. Yeah, I get that nectar that we don't even need. Alright then. It would not surprise me in the slightest, honestly, if Pikmin just drank nectar even when they didn't need it. I'm surprised that wasn't a thing that happened in the- Oh, hey! Purple potion! Uh, I'm surprised that wasn't a thing that happened in the first game, because that's that totally seems like a Pikmin 1 glitch thing. Pikmin 1, like, I like the game and everything, but it is a glitched up mess. It is so stinking glitchy. Like, when we were walking, I didn't even get to mention it because I was just so short for time, but, um... What was I trying to say? I'll never stop jumping. In, uh, the place where we were building those bridges at the end of the Awakening Wood, that would be, like, torture for Pikmin 1 because we were walking under the bridges and everything like that. If you walk under a bridge in Pikmin 1, the Pikmin just instantly stink and die. That's just a weird stinking glitch. I don't know why it happens, but if you ever walk them under a bridge or a staircase, because, like, in that game they had, like, staircase bridges that you made, you, they just instantly die. It's, like, the weirdest thing ever, and it's so annoying. Another annoying thing is that they also have a weird glitch where they'll fall through the floor if you bum rush an enemy, like a big one, like a Bulbar or a Wallywog. So, when you fight a Wallywog perfectly, you could end up losing, like, 40 Pikmin to it anyway, just because Pikmin fall through the floor, and they're evil like that. Uh, so yeah, Pikmin 1 is a very unpolished game, but this game fixes every glitch, like, perfectly. The only glitch I can find in this game benefits the player with the stinking potions. So, yeah, Pikmin 2, you are awesome. I would definitely say this is my favorite game in the Pikmin series. Pikmin 3 is gorgeous, and I absolutely love it in so many ways, but, um, I don't know, I still think this one wins out. I just love all the memories I have with it, and I just think it's a lot more challenging which is really nice pikmin 3 isn't a walk in the park but it's still like somewhat stuff i don't know if it suffers from nintendo easy i think it just does have a lot of convenient things in it that are even more convenient than this game so no pikmin 3 isn't e isn't easy uh it's just this game is harder than pikmin 3 and i do think that this one is just a lot more interesting and stuff let me know which one of the pikmin games is your favorite maybe it's the first one i don't know maybe you have a lot of good memories with it this one was, like I said, it was the first Pikmin game I played, so even if I did play the first one first, uh, it probably wouldn't have had the nostalgia value for me because I was stinking stinking that game. First time I played it, I got the bad ending. Alright then, we've got ourselves on the floor here, we got ourselves- Oh, you can see that our treasure radar is, uh, weirding out and stuff. That is interesting, we'll get into that in a second. <laughs> okay, we got Bulwark Trap. Uh, Alright, so don't worry too much about your treasure gauge weirding out. That is the cause of that jerk over there. That is an antenna beetle. I know we couldn't really see him because he's so far away, but we saw his whistle. He has his own whistle that he could use to lure Pikmin over to him. Uh, not like from far away, but like if they get caught in the range of the whistle, then they will leave our squad and go over to him. He can't kill Pikmin directly, but he could like lead them into other dangerous enemies. So there's that, which is sort of annoying. Speaking of annoying, you. Um, so yeah, the antenna beetle, he could lure Pikmin out of your party into his. He's not really that difficult to take care of, though, but you do want to get rid of him because uh, as long as he's on the field, he will make your treasure gauge go out of control, and you can't really tell when you're done on this floor with the treasures. So yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of him. He's sort of weird. You can't really lock onto him when you, when you start throwing Pikmin onto him. They don't grab onto him at all. They just sort of stay there. Actually, I want to take them off real quick to take the chucks off because the way he gets away from enemy from Pikmin is hilarious. Uh, he gets back up and then kaboom! Yeah, he just flies off into the sky like Batman. And then he'll come back right where he was originally though, so it's not really that dangerous. To, not difficult to go find him again. Uh, but yeah, it's really stinking hilarious. I don't think you could swarm Pikmin onto him. They don't grab onto him, which is really weird. You have to throw him on top and they just sort of bounce off. I don't know if he's like made of metal and they can't grab on or something like that, but it's weird. And haha, uh -huh, they gave us a whistle when we got the whistle enemy taken out. Alright, very hilarious. So we got that. Go ahead and collect all these guys as well. And this might those might be the only two treasures on this floor. Uh, else, I do not want to walk around with everyone. That'd be pretty dangerous. It'd be like Danger Zone. Uh, let's grab this guy, because why not? I like torturing all the souls. Actually, it'd be even worse to just stare at them. Like, that's nothing. Like, I don't know why I'm being so sensitive. What the fuck are they doing? Why are the big ones so spazzy in this playthrough? Uh, crystallized Madame Clairvoyance. How convenient or hilarious or whatever. Alright, got this whistle. This might be the last treasure. What was I even saying? I don't even remember. Oh, yeah. I know I'd be, like, a lot more... What's the, what are you guys doing? I don't remember them being so weird all the time or whatever. Emperor Whistle. 
Uh, that is the only treasure in this world. Awesome. So, I... What was I saying? I know I played this game a bunch of times, and, like, I never really took the time to comprehend how stinking creepy it is that the corpses just stay there. And it's just weird that this game gets an E rating. Like, if you take a time to just look at the corpses or, like, watch them die or whatever, it's really creepy looking. And, like, I don't know if I just got a lot more sensitive over the years, but, like, man, that's just creepy to look at and to take in. Like, this game's really stinking dark. Uh, so it just goes to show that just because it's rated E for everyone doesn't mean it's like a happy pappy walk in the flower fields. Uh, hello! Jeez, they fell at like the exact same time. Alright, gonna get rid of you guys. And I just wanted to go and see if we could find any uh, nectar or potions on this floor because that'd be very awesome if we could. Uh, nothing. And nothing. Hooray! Alright then, probably wasting everybody's time, but whatever, we're just enjoying the time together. Can't we just do that, enjoy our time, and have fun, and have a nice little conversation, even though you guys aren't talking back to me, unless it's in the comments, several hours or days later. Oh boy. Alright then, whatever. I think we got everything on this floor, we've explored every area, so we could finally get the heck out of here. Uh, I think we actually need to go real here, real here, right here, real quick. And we're done. Okay then, let's go to the next floor. Who? Who? 